We're wobbling a little bit, aren't we, my friends? Hello, hello, how are we doing? I'm alive, I'm alive. Um, you may or may not know, my partner and I recently hosted our first ever Garth Country Fair, Garth being the name of his farm, um, and the mountain that it's situated on. Jesus, Harry, Harry, Hail Mary, Joseph, Harry, Mary, I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm still quite exhausted, is the point I'm making. Um, it was a lot, guys, it was a lot. Um, some of you came down, which was amazing, and it was so nice to kind of share my Welsh countryside lifestyle with you guys. Um, it was so successful, which was just so encouraging to offer something to the community. Everyone came down, we had tractor trailer rides, um, yada, yada, yada. But also, we had damage control behind the scenes, like putting on an event. <laughs> It was a steep learning curve for us both, but the most important thing is those that attended thought it was amazing and even more importantly, I'm now back with some fashion content. This doesn't look like it's fashion content, but trust me, we're going to be deep diving into what this is and why it's going to up level your sewing in a moment. Um, but yeah, so I literally had to piece myself back together. We did it on the August bank holiday weekend um, and it was amazing. And I don't know if I'll want to do it as an annual thing because I literally have been having lions day after day for the best part of a week. But the good news is, as I say, I'm back with you guys. So hello, hello everybody, whoever is joining me live, big hello to you. I thought we'd wean back into things with like a nice easy bit of value, but it's gonna give you like maximum reward at the same time. Um, and I kind of filmed variations of this before, but if you hop on YouTube or if you're watching this on YouTube on a replay, you'll realize that the quality is shocking because it was back in the day when my fashion studio was adjacent to a cow shed <laughs> and we also had country bumpkin internet. So we're trying to update, we're trying to give you the quality um, in terms of filming and everything. But today I wanna to talk through something. Now, not that long ago, I sent out a questionnaire asking for your feedback regarding your experience with me here at Digital Pattern Library. And for those that completed the questionnaire, I gave you a free masterclass of your choice because your girl's really generous like that. Um, and so you can still fill out this questionnaire if you haven't done so already. Um, just DM me, I'll send you the link or I'll pop it in the description box below when this is on a YouTube replay. Um, and one of the things was asking you guys if you knew what a fashion file pack was. And more than one person got back to me and said, is it a tech pack? Now, for those that don't know what a tech pack is, this is a blueprint document that when you approach a factory in the fashion industry, it details every single detail of the garment. It gives the factory very little wiggle room for error when it comes to production. Um, no, a fashion file pack is not a tech pack. And if you want to find out more about tech packs, come and catch me over at Sandra Jane Design. That is my nine to five where I launch fashion brands for a living. So if you are more interested in the business side of it, your girl's got you covered, but not here at Digital Pattern Library. Here, we are all about building our dream wardrobes, clothes that fit us, clothes that express who we are, clothes that are playful, you can explore who you are through the medium of fashion. That is what we're about here at Digital Pattern Library. And a fashion file pack, again, this looks so uninteresting, but let me open it in a moment. Um, they are PDF collectible um, documents that detail methods and techniques across sewing and pattern drafting skills. Now, throughout my time in the industry, I have developed multiple arch lever files full of lessons I've learned, of techniques I've appreciated, of samples, of experiments. And what it has done is completely elevated my skill and my professional outcome as a designer. Now I sell fashion file packs for $4.99 each and they are really comprehensive, easy to understand documents that break up specific techniques and methods. But you don't need, again, I'm terrible at shooting myself in the foot when it comes to promoting my business. You don't need to buy them <laughs> to start your own fashion file. Now, let me just open this up and you're gonna see kind of what I mean. Um, so we've got some introductory packs here, but let's say the first collectible fashion file pack 
is called Seams 101 and it really does strip it down to the basics. Um, that was really weird that I was like poking my head out around the corner. I just needed to make sure that that was in, in shot. Um, and again, just to give you an insight, I'll show you the first page, but it really does break down plain seam construction. You've got flat felled seam construction, welt seam construction. And what you're gonna see here are samples also in my fashion file. And so it's really, really tactile. It's a really beneficial tool to have in your sewing kit. Um, and even if you develop your very own skill, if you document it, whether that is taking photographs, drawing illustrations, making notes, and you put it in your fashion file, um, you can refer back to it time and time again. I don't know if you've ever heard, and I have learned this tenfold since running Digital Pattern Library, um, that when you teach someone something, it kind of doubly absorbs into your mind. Well, it same principle applies here. If you actually just note it down and do all of these kind of learning styles from drawing to writing to sketching to tactfully and physically making the samples, what happens is the knowledge actually absorbs tenfold into your mind. Um, and it's great to experiment with, even if your samples and everything don't work out, it is worth putting in your fashion file pack and telling yourself and reminding yourself and noting down why it didn't work out. And so we've got concealed zips. There's a fashion file pack on Zips 101 as well. You've got pockets. We've got um, drafting a skirt block in there. We've got making shirt collars. Um, drafting shirt collars is in here. If I just show you little snippets of it all. And these fashion file packs are absolutely available to purchase. If you are a member, you know you obviously get every single fashion file pack included in the membership. Um, and then again here, in terms of creating collars, I've got a little sample in there as well. Um, and these are really, really comprehensive folders of knowledge that can be, cr that can be created on your terms. That was difficult to say. Um, but I really encourage anybody out there creating and building their very own fashion file. All you need, it doesn't even need to be a physical thing, although obviously if you are sampling, it makes sense to have it as a physical document. But because these fashion file packs are PDFs, they're digital, you can literally just store them on your computer as well and start to build a digital database of um, techniques and methods. And it is just a very comprehensive learning tool. It is not a tech pack, just to get that straight. Um, so it is not one of the, as you can see, again, the most recent one we've done, my members and I are currently working through um, creating, drafting and designing and wearing our very own trouser designs. And so one of the most recent ones we've done is actually trouser amendments. This is gonna be available to purchase following this live. I haven't actually updated it to the website yet, but your girl's gonna get there, okay? We all know, but I just need to calm down after the Garth Country Fair. Um, but they are just so useful. They're easy to follow, they're simple to digest. You have words, you've got written learning here, you have instructions and illustrations for visual learning. And then of course, again, look, I've got frills and gathers in here with my own little notes in the corner. It is so useful to explore all learning styles for you to just completely absorb these techniques as a designer. And so you have pattern drafting, you have sewing construction, they're all there. If you ever have any recommendations or requests, let your girl know, I will sort you out. Um, but as I say, my members get all of these completely included in the membership. At the moment, we're on to fashion file pack number 22, that is the most recent one, um, alongside the PDF sewing patterns, alongside the online masterclasses, any single thing you see in the Digital Pattern Library universe, it's included in the membership. <laughs> basically, is the easiest way to say that. Um, but as I say, and without shooting myself in the foot too much, you don't need to wait to start your own fashion file pack. So if you have done fabric manipulation techniques, if you've tried out quilting, if you wanted to see how maybe fabric paint, um, the dye is taken to different types of textiles, put it all in these documents and I promise you, you're gonna start to build your very own catalog of knowledge. They are so essential. As I say, throughout my career, I've been a designer for over, what, 10 years now? God, that's a bit depressing. Um, I have four, if not more, Arch Leather Files packed, and I mean packed, 
full of information from fitting, from drafting, from creating um, pocket styles, from playing around with seam finishes. Um, and there is nothing stopping you from stepping into the role of designer and from creating your own and experimenting. That is the whole amazing playfulness of being our own fashion designers is creating your own finishes and ripping up the rule book um, and just having fun with it and documenting it and keeping it in one cohesive place for you to dip back into so that you can absolutely up level your sewing game. Um, I really hope that you found that useful. I really hope that you found that insightful. As I say, my members get a free pack once a quarter during our Create, Cut, Construct cycle. So the most recent one they've been given there, which isn't yet available, but will be for you guys to purchase if you so wish, is the Trouser Amendments. It is all kicking off in the DPL Atelier. It's quite an exciting time to be alive. Um, but yeah, let me know how you get on. If you have any questions at all, DM me, email me, hello at digitalpanlibrary.com. And I really hope that you have taken inspiration from this to get started started on your very own fashion files uh, but that's what they are that's what they use for and it is sewing methods and pattern cutting techniques in really freaking easy to follow ways because trust me I have had so many mentors in my life who literally might as well be speaking to me in Arabic or a or a language I don't understand Welsh embarrassingly I don't understand Welsh even though I live in Wales um and it's been so, so complex. And so over the last 10 years, I have simplified everything I have learned into the most easy to follow kind of um, approach. And I am giving it to you guys, if you so wish. But thank you for joining me live and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye bye.